uh, I'm sorry for not uploading it over a month. As you can really tell, I'm still kind of sick. Uh, February 9th, last month, I ended up with a migraine that I'd had for a while. Uh, two weeks two and a half weeks, it, but February 9th, it really, it all came to a head. Um, I started having seizures. I took my son to school at 7.30 in the morning. <coughs> Got back home and started seizuring. Uh, all... I remember in between the seizures was calling 911. That was the only thing that I could really do. Um, and I remember part of the ambulance ride, even though I was still having seizures, it takes anywhere from two to three weeks sometimes more to get my memories back from what actually happened. Uh, so, you know, I still, I'm not, I'm not completely sure what happened. All I know is the ambulance people, the medics got here. Um, they wouldn't let my father into my house. And I really hate speaking when I have seizures, uh, just because I stutter and it's hard to get my point across and I don't like to repeat myself. So, uh, he was yelling at him, this is my daughter, let me in. And they were pushing him back and I finally said uh, as well as I could, you know, that's my dad, go ahead and let him in. And I remember him asking me questions if I'd taken my medication. And, of course, I had. And since, you know, my seizures are really not controlled and can be triggered by pain, that's... The migraine is what caused it. Um, when I got to the hospital, they... I'm just now starting to remember the hospital and it's been over a month. Um, they gave me the migraine cocktail in my hand because I refused to let them put it in my elbow. Uh, I hate when they put IVs or anything like that in my elbow because it just, it, it doesn't work for me. I'm always scared of breaking the needles, even though they say it can't be done. Honestly, it can be. Um, I remember my mother showing up. And I remember my sister showing up. And that's really it for what I can actually remember at the moment. Um, since that point, I've still been sick, I've still had a migraine, but my PCP actually gave me a medication to try to help with the migraine so that it doesn't uh, get to the point where I actually have a seizure, which is scary. Um, from what I actually remember, I, I've gotten into the habit now of looking at a clock, and I usually wear a watch, but I was looking at the clock on the microwave, and I remember I'm starting at about 7.30, 7.45-ish. And I looked at the clock, and then when I'd come to, I'd look at it again, and then I'd go right back in. Um, 
So I had probably seven seizures by myself at home. Um, the medics said I had one or two in the ambulance and that's really all I remember. After that, I, I've got a bunch of allergy to plants and trees and just about anything you could think of. I'm probably allergic to it. Um, even some makeup brands I'm allergic to. I learned that the hard way I'm actually allergic to something that they put in MAC lipsticks, which sucks because Mitch D. Max sent me my gift for winning her contest, but I'm still going to do the uh, a review on it and do a makeup look with it. Um, but anyways, my allergies went completely insane. Uh, yesterday was pretty rough. I started getting another migraine yesterday. And the day before that was bad too. I was, excuse me, going through the seizure warning signs. And all I remember about the last couple of days was just basically crying and freaking out. Or laying down somewhere and sleeping 95% of the day, which is not a good thing for me because then I'm up all night long, up and down, up and down, up and down, just... I don't like it. Um, and if you could hear it, my allergies are still going crazy today. I'm starting to become more and more worried about what I watch on TV. Uh, flashes, especially with a migraine, and already having all the sinus pressure could cause some bad reactions. And I'm also sorry that I'm not looking at the camera, the little lens, but I'm looking at myself. And that's because I'm filming on my tablet. Um... <sighs> And you know, I'm lucky to have the people in my life that I do have. It isn't very many, but it's enough. Um, let's see what else has gone on in the past month. Uh, yesterday was actually my youngest son's birthday. Turned seven. So, this weekend we had promised him, me and my husband had promised to take him to the arcade and movie theater and let him have his little birthday and all that stuff. So, but. I kind of feel that I have to force myself to do this and it's it's becoming harder and again I'm sorry for my absence I do have a lot of stuff that I need to go through and review from Amazon and some other companies that I really do enjoy ordering from. I'm still waiting on one package to come in and it should be here within the next couple of days. My Bioplast for my 
my lip rings uh, since I have to go to the dentist which is a whole crappy story uh, and have a tooth pulled because I broke it and there's another tooth behind it I really don't like taking out my piercings I'd rather leave in what I've got in but they're gonna have to do x-rays so I'm gonna have to put in all my bioplast in my face facial piercings so that it can be done correctly and without any danger especially when they go in to pull the tooth they Paid is just, I'm really scared of it at this point. Since it takes the gas and 12 or 13 shots to actually numb it to a point where I can tolerate the pain. I don't want to seize up on them, on my dentist, which is a very lovely guy, and his nurses. And I don't want to deal with the after effects of the pain. I'll show you the tooth. It looks really gross and I apologize. Um, I, I have a DNA flaw that I have several rows of teeth. Like I have eight wisdom teeth. It's a uh, hyperdontia and it is incredibly painful. It's passed down through generations, you know it could skip a generation or whatever. My grandmother and my aunt don't have it, but my dad has it, and I have it, and my son has it, and between me and my dad, the dentist, <laughs> he knows we're the only two he's ever seen in this area. So, I'll show you, it's really pretty nasty looking but it started breaking a couple months ago and I've just left it alone and then there's that tooth is directly behind it and all that's happening is it's pushing forward and it's smashing out that tooth so if I don't get that taken care of all it's going to do is cut up my mouth uh, or cause me more pain than what I need to be in. And that's something I really don't need right now, especially already being sick. Uh, I know a lot of my, my friends have been kind of worried about me. So that's why I decided to go ahead and put up this video even though you know the few that are always around me that come and check on me or call me or text me or whatever know what's been going on or some that are too far away to actually come over if I need them so but I still get texts and stuff like that. And, yeah, I don't want to freak anybody out or have anybody call 911 on me when, if I don't answer the phone because it's, it's happened. And it's like, damn, I was just in the bathroom. I don't carry my phone everywhere with me. I don't see any point in it, especially because it's sensitive. You know, I'm going to take a shower. It's sensitive to the steam and it can get under the casing and all kinds of weird stuff can happen but I guess that's really all I have to say that I am kind of okay I'm not great I am alive you know for my friends that are on Facebook and my all of 12 subscribers I love you dearly excuse me I We'll try to post more often as I start feeling better. Sorry for the glare on my glasses. The TV's right over here, right behind me, kind of blind without my glasses, so you kind of stuck.
looking at my lovely glasses. But anyways, I'll put it into this video since I've been rambling for about 15, mm, about 16 minutes now. But thank you again for all, for those who have left messages on other videos telling me how brave I am about putting this out there and letting people know. And if I had pictures from when I was in the hospital on February 9th, I would be more than happy to post them. But yeah, I wasn't in state of mind to take pictures and my mother and my sister don't don't want to take pictures of me like that because they don't want to see me like that. And I can understand. But mm, it's really all I have to say. I appreciate anybody who's watching this. I thank you and I hope everybody has a good day.